Hello. Let's try to understand an automatic voltage stabilizer or in technical terms it is called automatic voltage regulator and uh, the circuit looks here a bit complicated but actually when we go section wise perhaps it will be very easy to understand. So what we have in the circuit here we have taken some alternators here that are for different voltages because this voltage stabilizer faces different voltages input voltages so we have taken certain voltage sources here alternator that means we can change this switch to any position like this and so that the input voltage will be changing and which will be displayed here we will be able to understand the display also here so that is this section and we have a small transformer it's called a signal transformer it is only for powering the electronic circuits where this is the primary which is connected to the supply 230 volts or whatever voltage is coming here and the secondary is around 12 to 15 volts which is then filtered rectified a DC is made and that DC is given to an operational amplifier used as a comparator here we have used a 741 operational amplifier but any uh, operational amplifier can be used in particular LM339, 3, uh, 324 or maybe 358 or uh, 339, uh, 393 anything can be used here. But then uh, for the purpose of uh, understanding we have taken 741 here and here what you find there is a uh, Jenner diode. This Jenner diode is connected from the supply that means from the DC supply through a resistor and uh, so that a fixed voltage always remains here irrespective of whatever voltage is changing here why this voltage will change this voltage will change but when this voltage changes this voltage will also change when this voltage changes the rectified voltage also changes so this but then this voltage will not change that means that the inverting terminal it will not change as regards to inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal, we have explained at length about the uh, operational amplifier used as a comparator. Uh, please go through that to understand it still better. The objective is that uh, uh, this point, the plus point, which is non-inverting point, which is compared against this voltage, please go through the uh, comparator video that we have. And in the process, the output happens the, by a formula called when this is more than this. We call it in fact for EG terms we call it plus and minus when plus is more than minus is output is equal to 1. 1 means supply voltage whatever is the supply voltage and that is what is being followed in this arrangement here. Then we have a potential divider arrangement through a preset which is done only once and it is not always changed. So we keep it at a particular place to see that how the function is operating. And then we have a feedback register which is very important which is uh, normally people ignore and in the process the chattering of the stabilizer takes place. We will explain that in a different video as to why this feedback register is necessary. Then we have another uh, 4.7 volt Zener diode through a series register and when the voltage exceeds here that means the, uh, when the logic happens here when plus is more than minus output is equal to 1 when this becomes a 12 volt. Where this is roughly coming about 12 13 volts and it crosses obviously when it is 12 volt and so or more than 4.7 volts this will try to conduct in the in the process this transistor will conduct this transistor will conduct this is connected to the relay coil and this relay coil will be actuated and relay coil actuated there are contacts here please go through my relay uh, videos there are contacts here we change the contact this is a 2co relay 2 contact relay and that uh, it will change this is what is this section and uh, don't, mi don't mind about this so many meters used here in actual circuit there will be no voltmeters there will be no lamp like this but then for the purpose of understanding better what we are tried to do is we are given a lot of uh, voltmeters for you to understand. So this is as far as this section this section this section this section this transformer is concerned. Most importantly the other transformer this is the power transformer transformer where the voltage is either added or subtracted as far as the voltage addition and subtraction we have a, a stabilizer basics transformer basics please go through that video which will make it clear as to how the voltage addition subtraction takes place and this is what we are trying to achieve this uh, in this automatic voltage stabilizer or automatic voltage regulator. Now try to understand this before we go into the simulation part we will try to explain this also. 
Now, for example, at the instantaneous value, we are given some plus minus here. Actually, this is the instantaneous value. Then at particular 10 millisecond, this side is positive, this side is negative. And in the next 10 millisecond, this side becomes positive, this side becomes negative. So for easy understanding, let us assume that at a particular instant, while well, it is this is positive, this is negative. And uh, obviously, we get some voltage here and that voltage is given for only for circuit operation here. We are uh, we have already explained that. This, there is no function uh, of this transformer other than that. It is only to supply the voltage for the electronic circuit. Okay, then we have the same supply which is given to another transformer where the same phase input and the neutral which is the common is given here. And uh, based on the polarity which we are discussed in the separate videos, now assume that when this is positive, this is also positive. When this is negative, this is also negative. That means they are in, 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 in phase, whatever it may be. So now we will try to understand how it works. How it works in the sense, now I will put it uh, the rotary switch at this position and uh, let's see how it works. So when we switch on this, when we switch on this, what we find we are feeding 200 volts and forget about this voltage. This is only for the purpose of electronic circuit operation. So we are not bothered about the circuit. It is giving some 12.7 volt which is filtered and we get some voltage. And that voltage is given to the operational amplifier for operation and then this transistor, the relay, all that they operate from this voltage. Now we are more concerned about this transformer. In this transformer what is happening, let's see. Now if this is positive, the positive comes here, okay. So uh, this is also given to this thing, let us not go that side. We see what is happening in the secondary side. So positive comes here, it goes this way and in this relay, 2CO relay it connects to this point, this point means this point is actually the negative point. So positive is now connected to negative and then coming here, positive, here, here, here. So this is how the voltage, this much of voltage is added. That means 200 volts plus 13 volts, you get 213 volts. You, if it is difficult for you to understand, please go through my voltage stabilizer, uh, the transformer buck boost uh, concept. Concept we have explained very clearly how the voltage subtraction and addition takes place. Now, you see, it goes on like this and when we change the voltage, input voltage now goes to 212, this again 13 volts added, so it is 226. Again, now supposing I change the voltage, it is going to 216, again it gets it added, that much of voltage is added here and when this comes to this place, you see this relay has changed. Now see, this relay has changed from this position to this position. Now see what is happening. Now this is positive and this positive goes here to positive. That means it will subtract this voltage. So it goes positive to positive and through this, through this phase out. So this voltage will be subtracted from this voltage. So 223 minus 14.3 volt, you get 208 volts. So this is what, how the buck operation takes place. And then when we again go over, then it says 230 volts minus this much of volt, this much of volt, 215 volts. And uh, here a question will come that if my supply voltage is 230 volts, which is very much in the safe limits, why am I getting 215 volts? This is because see all automatic voltage stabilizers or uh, automatic voltage regulators, you cannot uh, assume as to what will be the input, what will be the output, but the output will remain between a certain range to certain range. So here an example, for the we, we, we are feeding 230 volt, or for here example, uh, we are feeding 223 volts, but we are getting 208 volts. No problem, because the output is more important to us. If the output remains between 200 to 240, then the stabilizer function is okay. So it is not an it is automatic stabilizer, we call it automatic stabilizer, but actually it has a uh, it has a tolerance, we call it tolerance. Tolerance means certain percentage, that means from 200 to 240 is the standard practice. If it is remains at 200 to 240, then stabilizer function is okay. So don't, uh, uh, don't assume that if my voltage is 223, why it is giving 208 volt, why it is not giving 223 volts. So that's not the objective. So similarly, now when we increase this, 
it again uh, goes on subtracting this voltage this voltage this is around 15 volts so you get 215 volt and again when it goes to maybe 244 volts which is about 245 245 volts which is a bit higher voltage as far as the our supply is concerned then minus this much of voltage we get this much so three steps we have for buck operation and three steps we have for uh, boost operation so this is what is how the voltage stabilizer is actually working this is set as i told you this is set only once you don't have to disturb every time every stabilizer has a uh, variable resistor which is adjusted at the time of manufacturing and in the process this uh, uh, operates exactly the way that we like 